This is old mate's backyard tech. All right, a little bit of groundwork first. Now, those of you who've been around old mate's backyard tech long enough now know I'm a former recording engineer, aka studio recording. I prefer to work in a recording studio and used to do things in the analog realm. So, aka tape, basically. I've used analog mixers most of my career. I currently have, here at home though, technically a hybrid desk in the Yamaha O2R digital recording console that can work in both analog and digital modes. Now, as we know though, if you work from home or you are a producer, music writer or whatever, you don't necessarily have a fully fledged recording studio in your own home featuring a 32, 48, 64, 96 channel recording console, two two inch 24 track tape machines, so on and so forth. A lot of people these days are ITB in the box, meaning you go out and get yourselves a digital audio workstation software package and you do everything at your computer, which is exactly what I do. So having said all that, it was interesting to get an email from a viewer last week asking me whether or not, aside from Mixbus 32C from Harrison Consoles, do I run another DAW on my main PC? Well, the long and short answer to that is no. You got questions about some IT stuff. You got questions about AV stuff. You got questions about the 80 series Land Cruiser. You're at the right spot. From Old Mate's Backyard Tech, this is Old Mate's Q&A and Advice. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Old Mate's Q&A and Advice time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech combined with a Pro Audio video to kick off Pro Audio Fridays. And like I said, you know, at the end of the introduction to this video, the short and long answer to this question is no and no. All right. Um, I got this email last week. This is from... I've just lost it. Where did I put it? There it is. MJ. Hi there, old mates backyard tech. I've recently been watching some of your pro audio videos featuring Harrison Mixbus 32C. Uh, this is a DAW I've never heard of. How, can it, how are people not hearing about this? Um, I'm curious to know whether or not you run any other music production software package on your PC or do you just run Mixbus 32C? Um, it seems like an interesting program. I might have a look at it myself, although having said that, I use Pro Tools. Um, from MJ. Good grief. Pro Tools, eh? Some of my viewers are well aware of my opinion on Pro Tools. Um, MJ, no, I don't. I run Mixbus 32C and that is it. All right. I, okay, I've admitted this before, whether this viewer has seen any of my other videos, they may have, they may have not. By default, I'm a Harrison Consoles person. I'm not woke. Try that again. Rewind reality, take two. By default, I'm a Harrison Consoles man, okay? I believe in their product. I have used their mixers. I now proudly and have no qualms about showcasing Mixbus 32C here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, and Harrison know that. So I support them. Now, that's coming from a mixer point of view. You know, I've used the 32C. All right, or the 32C platform, I should say. So I have no qualms with that. Now, obviously, when it comes to power amps, that's a different story. It's crown, all right? But MJ, to, to nut it out, no, I don't have any other production software here on my PC. Mixbus 32C does everything I need and I want. Now, many people dislike that fact. I'm used to that because most people will sit there and say I should be running Pro Tools. I say stuff that. <laughs> 
you get you, Mixbus 32C will do everything Pro Tools will do. And soon, hopefully, they may end up putting Atmos into it. I don't know. I haven't kept up. And maybe Harrison can, if they see this video, they can put a comment down as to what's happening with Atmos within Mixbus 32C. But the thing is, how are people not hearing about this software package? I mean, a lot of people I've spoken to say they've never even heard of Harrison consoles. I don't know how that's possible. Like, we know the saying here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. If I know about it, everybody knows about it. Yet I've had people many times go, oh, I've never heard of Harrison consoles. I don't buy that. Anyway, not particularly when they've been around since 75. Come on. So, no, it's Mixbus 32C and that's it for me. I mean, that does my sequencing, my recording, um, some of the, you know, post-audio work from the video camera. If I need to do, you know, make changes to the audio coming off this thing, I don't do it in my video editing software. I do it in Mixbus 32C because I have a lot more to do, or a lot more features to use, I should say. Um, so, no, mix. it does everything I want and I need, which we know these days is highly illegal on social media because you're supposed to use what everyone else tells you to use, and I don't do that. Um, oh, ouch. So... No, I run Mixbus 32C and nothing. And I I don't I I do not subscribe to the fact that it can't do what Pro Tools can do. It can do everything Pro Tools can do. Probably better and much more friendlier. With a slightly less sterile environment, for want of a better term. Um but I, look, I swear by it. I, I won't use anything else. I won't. I mean, I've had a look at Pro Tools and un I've got the demo version of it well, a few months ago or so now. I think I was going to say we'd have a look at it. I installed the demo version, opened it up, took one look at it and then uninstalled it. Just, just chucked it out. I did not like it. But then again, I don't like Pro Tools by definition. So, but aside from that, yeah, no, it's Mixbus 32C or nothing for old mate. It's as simple as that. There we go. Nice quick Q&A and advice video. Stick around. Up next, a special presentation. We're going to get stuck into that church sound system at the other half's parents' church. That's next.